Yeah, this is a uh, bang bang rail. Um, years ago, I was uh, I got a flat in Peckham, opposite Peckham uh, Fire Station. It was on a ground floor ground floor flat. And it was nice. It was in a little block little block of uh, flats, three story high. Yeah. I was down there for about what two days with this. I met this girl, and she had a, she had a child, and it was nice. I loved it, mate. And one night it was it was like a lunatic asylum. Bashing, crashing, music going like a nutcase. And I thought, what the fuck's going on here? This is the weekend thing, yeah? So I let it go, Friday night, I let it go. Saturday night was the exact same. Couldn't sleep, murders, threes, fours, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, and then it died die of death, yeah? So all night long they'd be dancing, singing, and shouting, and hollering. And then and then from, from that time until the next, until the next, what, six o'clock, next, seven o'clock, next day, it'd be quiet. You know, and at night time it got off again, so we couldn't sleep. So I had to go upstairs and to have a chat to him, you know what I mean? I didn't want to, but come on, you've got to, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? Goes upstairs, knocks on the door, a couple of black guys go, what's up, mate? I went, do me a favour, mate. I said, I live downstairs, I'm with a girl, she's got a child, and I said, you're making a lot of noise, and I said, she can't sleep, the baby's crying and whatnot, can you keep it out me, please? They went, no man, who are you talking to? I said, I'm just asking you, mate, nicely, please keep it down. He said, why, what are you going to do, man? I said, listen, I ain't about what I'm going to do. And I'm a big lump, you know, right? And I said, just keep it down, right? They went, go on, all that, bars cut, bars cut, all that shit, and slam the door behind me, right? So I went downstairs and I said, do me a favour, right? I said, get your baby and piss off. Go get a find an hotel, get some money, Find an hotel for a little bit of time, and I've got to sort this problem out, yeah? So she went, okay, bump. She, she shot off. She got an hotel. I stayed there that night, yeah? Got a great big uh, one of them padlock clips, you know? Padlock from a, from a uh, scaffolding company. One of them big padlock clips, yeah? I'm waiting for it to kick off, yeah? I'm waiting for it to kick off. So it kicked off. I ran upstairs. Mate, I knew he'd knock the door. I just smashed through the door. With this puddle up, went smashed through the door. I went crazy. I went absolutely ape shit. Smashed. It. I was going mad. I was. I, I, I didn't care. The guns, knives. I just went mad. Smashed the place up. The smashed it to pieces. Yeah. I got it. I got it with a, uh, a bottle across the across the head. Listen, mate. You don't. I mean, you don't feel nothing when you're going mad. You go mad. I got head like a rock. You know what I mean? Didn't feel what cut up a little bit here, cut up a little bit there, and gone. You know, I'd gone out, gone out, bump, bump, chomp, gone. Left the place, all right? So I got to the hotel where she's at the hotel, and I said, look, we can't go back there. Nowhere can we go back there. We lost the flat. I can't lose the flat, this, that, and the other. It's this, that, they're going to give me another place, but I can't lose that, yeah? I said, well, to go back there is, is going to be crazy. So when you're in prison, you get a thing called, you know, phone books, yeah? And I was, when I was away, I met this guy called Keith. Uh, black guy, nice guy, big, like light skinned fella, big powerful guy, massive, white good physique, little tiny waist. He didn't have to do nothing. He looked the part, yeah. And he and uh, like we all we all mates got white talking. He said, "Listen," he said, "Any time, right?" He said, uh, "He said, look, any time uh, you're around Peckham, give me the phone number." He said, "Just give me a talk, give me a call." I went, "Love you, Keith. Yeah, we'll do." So. Me having that number and being in Peckham done me a right favour. So because I, I half knew that he run Peckham in a way, yeah. So I phoned him up from the, from the hotel and he went, I went, hello mate, is that Keith? He went, yeah man, who's that? I said, it's Ray. He said, Ray, old mate. I said, Ray, he doesn't talk, he isn't, he isn't uh, into that blood clap, blood clap. He does a little, it's a little bit of lingo, but not that much, yeah? So I said, it's Ray Hill, mate. He went, hello, Ray, Mamba, like that, yeah? He said, how are you going? I went, yeah, I'm a good, Keith. He said, what are you up to? I went, yeah, well, I'm in a hotel, you know, in Peckham. I did live, I was living in, in, in a place uh, opposite uh, Peckham, Peckham Fire Station, a block of flats. He said, yeah, I know that, what's happening? I said, well, I had a bit of trouble with some guys, I had a fight with some guys. I went in there with a scaffold tube, and I said, I smashed it in pieces. I said, I'm too afraid to go back there because it's going to kick off. 
He went, what do you mean for you, for you, for you? He back to the I said, well, you know, he's going to kick off. He like, he said, I'm by myself. He said, listen, stay there. He come around the hotel and uh, he went, all right. He said, come on, get in the car with me. I went, leave off. I said, get in the car with me. Go downstairs. And there's these big guys in the car, the massive guys. I'm big. I'm, what, 19, 20 stone. These, these guys, same as big, big black guys. My mate Keith's big. I couldn't believe it when I see him. He says, what a good-looking geezer, you know what I mean? I went, all right, Keith. If you kiss a cuddle, I'll right, give him a cuddle. He said, you know what? I said, yeah, I'm sweet, man. He said, put that in your pocket. He gave me 500 pounds. He's like, a nice geezer. He runs Peckham. You, I mean, there's a few people that must be on my, on my video, on my podcast, must know this guy, Keith. He runs Peckham. Big, muscular guy. So he come, we're going to go to that place. So went there and kicked the door straight in. Didn't muck about, mate. Kicked the door straight in. They chopped these people up, mate, in seconds. They just, honestly, they chopped them up, mate. They just chopped them up with all sorts of machetes and axes and chopped them up, mate. And and they, you know what I mean, they, they just said to them, get you sort of further, get out of here, don't ever come back. And ever come back. They chopped them up, mate. They chopped them up bad. Didn't kill them. Just chopped them up. Never stabbed them. Never stabbed them. Just chopped them up. Chopped, chopped, chopped them up. Big machetes and axes. Mad, mate. This little fellow was mad. And I went, oh, mate. It's nice to have the people right around, isn't it? He said, get, get your girl. He said, come back. And he said, come back to your place. He said, I said, look, here, but you kick off. They're going to come back and smash my door down, Keith. He went, no, no. He went, let me tell you something. This is my place. Peckham is my manor. He said, people around here, we've got respect for me. They know no, I am, mate. Right? No one will kick off, nothing will kick off at all. Because if it does, then serious shit. He said, let me tell you something, you'll be okay. Right? So I went back with her, and everything was sweet, yeah? Sweet, keep you to take, come, come and take me to the gym. And I loved it, mate. It was the business, yeah? And then we got a gaff in Lewisham, yeah? Got a gaff in Lewisham, moved to Lewisham. But I kept Keith's number, um, kept phoning him up, meeting him down at the gym, a couple of times I had dinner and sat at the with him. And one day, the phone went dead, just dead, you know? And I'm gutted, you know what I mean? Because this guy was like, you couldn't get a better guy than that, you know what I mean, for what he did for me, yeah? But I've done this little video, uh, hoping that someone might know this guy, Keith, yeah? Keith, I can't think of his second name, you know. I only know I only knew him as Keith. And it's a bit crazy, isn't it? But I only knew him as Keith from Peckham. Whether or not he got himself a bit of trouble, got himself a bit more bird, I don't know. Maybe someone killed him, I don't know. But nice fella, yeah. Anyway, just a little little video just for my mate my mate Keith, yeah. Anyway, anybody knows him, let me know, yeah. Take care, nice one.